Hi everyone and welcome back to Geeky Fight, the place where I share amazing tips and tricks for improving your phone's performance and battery life. And in today's video, I'm gonna share some practical methods which you can use to prolong your Android phone's battery life. So without wasting any time, this is Mr. Samir. You guys are watching Geeky Fight, and let's start today's video. So as you know, smartphones can do pretty much anything right in your palm. Either you can game on it, stream, or even do multitasking. So all these processes need amazing horsepower under the hood. You need a better processor and of course a large screen to enjoy all your content on it. So smartphones have improved in a lot of areas. For example, processors, screens, GPU, storage, RAM, etc. But one area where they are still lacking is battery. So smartphone batteries in today's day and age itself are made up using lithium ion technology which has some drawbacks and limitations. So this means you have to only rely on software optimization of your phone to get most out of your battery life. So what to do to extend your battery life and keep your phone's battery healthy? So let's start with the first point and that is you need to toggle on battery saver. So the first and foremost thing which you can do on your Android phone to save some battery life is toggle on power saving mode. This will limit some background processes and will dim your screen brightness and overall will stop some of the animations on the UI itself. So you can easily turn on battery saver mode by going into the quick panel setting or you can go into the settings, go into the battery, select battery saver and toggle it on. You can also customize extreme power saver mode which will help you to extract more juice from your battery. So while we are already in the battery setting, there is one more option which you need to turn on and that is adaptive charging. Adaptive battery helps you to maintain the right amount of charging current for your phone while it is charging for prolonged period. So it's quite simple to turn on and to do that you need to go into the settings app, select battery, adaptive charging and toggle it on. So before moving to our next tip, there is one question I would love to ask you guys and that is which is one smartphone component which uses the most amount of battery? You can write your answer in the comment section. Pause the video for a minute. Okay, let's play it again. And if your answer is display, then my friends, you are right and we need to configure the display settings to get the most out of our battery. And now let's start with the brightness level. You can set the brightness according to your preferences, find the right balance for your eyes and of course toggle off adaptive brightness. This will help you to retain that perfect balance you just created for your phone's brightness. Next setting you should enable is dark mode. Yes, many of us don't believe that dark mode mode will save some battery because in earlier days phones used to come with LCD display but now most of us have a OLED display because of which dark mode will help you to save some juice on your phone. As OLED display has properties that it can individually lit up a particular pixel. For example, if you have a black wallpaper, then most of the pixels will be off, hence resulting into battery saving. Another tip is use minimal wallpaper or static wallpaper. Don't use live wallpaper as it puts stress on your CPU and GPU. And when CPU and GPU has stress, it will consume more power. So simple math, do not use live wallpaper or in fact cinematic wallpapers which Google has implemented in Android 14. And lastly, in display settings, let's talk about low screen time out. It will help you save a ton of battery life and this is my personal experience. Earlier I used to time out my screen approximately 1 minute or 3 minutes but as soon as I switched it to 30 seconds, yes I have seen results. And to do that, you need to go into the settings, select display, screen timeout and you can either set it to 30 seconds or 15 seconds according to your preferences. 15 seconds is a bit too fast for me so I have set it to 30 seconds. So before moving to our next tip, there is one request I would like to make and that is if you find this video helpful then make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any such amazing crucial tips and tricks like this. 
Okay, so our next tip is do not use your phone in extreme temperatures. Either it can be hot or cold, avoid using your phone in these temperatures as it will result into very, very bad battery life and it will affect your battery health as well. If you are in direct sunlight, avoid using cameras or playing games or in fact using some apps which are very CPU intensive. Do not use these apps under direct sunlight or in extreme climate. Next tip is for location services and I would recommend that you turn off GPS of your phone when you are not utilizing it as it constantly runs in the background to get the accurate location of your phone and of course yourself and it requires data and some other sensors to work in background and thus this results into draining of your battery on your phone. You can easily turn off location services by going into the quick setting panel and if you don't find over there then you can go into the settings, select location and toggle it off. So it's quite easy to turn off location by going into the quick setting panel and this will disable each and every location services. But what if you want to customize your location services, then you need to go into the settings, go into the location, select location services and from there you can customize or tweak according to your preferences. So I have one more trivial question for you and it is quite simple. After display, which is next component of your smartphone which utilizes a hell lot of power do let me know in the comment section please pause the video if your answer is network modems then my friend you are absolutely right and we need to configure these settings as well okay so firstly let's start with turning off wi-fi and cellular data so you can easily turn off wi-fi and cellular data by going into the quick setting panel and this is quite helpful while you are facing some signal related issues if you are in an area where signals are very less and Thus, your phone has to work over time to receive those signals and this will affect your phone's battery life. So in such scenarios, I would recommend that you turn off cellular data and Wi-Fi. So there is one more hidden setting which enables Wi-Fi to automatically restart and scan for local networks and thus resulting into poor battery life. And how to turn it off? For that, you need to go into the settings, network and internet, internet, network preferences and toggle off both the settings. So while you are talking about cellular data and Wi-Fi, how could we not talk about Bluetooth and hotspot? Again, you should turn off Bluetooth and hotspot whenever you are not using them as these modems also take a heavy toll on your phone's battery life. So next tip is going to be very future proof because it is related to 5G and most of us are using 5G data in today's day and age but 5G data requires a hell lot of battery and it drains your phone's battery like this and that is the reason I'm suggesting that if you aren't downloading a lot of files or a big file you can still use 4G as it is good enough for day-to-day -day tasks and it won't excessively drain your phone's battery so moving forward my next step would be that you should stop push notifications as push notifications required background processes to fetch those notifications and send it to you and it also requires internet duh and thus it will drain battery so you can turn off notifications for apps which you don't require another thing which you can do is you can just turn off vibration and sound of your keyboard so in today's day and age where most of us just chat rather than doing a phone call while on phone that is ironical by the way the keyboard stays a lot of time on your screen or in the process thus it takes a lot of battery as well so we can minimize the usage of battery of your keyboard by disabling vibration feedback and sound feedback and how to do that you need to go into your keyboard setting go into the preferences and you can toggle off sound on key press and of course vibration feedback on key press but what if you want to take it to the next level then you can also disable vibration and sound feedback system wide and to do that you need to go into the settings app select sound and vibrations and now turn off vibration and haptics toggle and next thing we need to turn off is tap and click sound now it's time to check which apps are draining your battery and to restrict them to do that first we need to look at our battery usage chart and to find that out you need to go into the settings select battery tap on battery usage and now you'll see a graph and below that there will be apps which were consuming the battery
battery. Choose a particular app which is just unnecessary and force stop it. Similarly, you can do this step for many other apps which is just there consuming, hogging on your battery life. So while we are talking about apps, you should clean your phone storage by deleting unnecessary apps. And I know, I know, we download a plethora apps, we never open them. They are just lying around consuming your battery, taking space on your storage. Then why don't we just delete it and make your phone run like it is that new. Another tip which saved a lot of time and a lot of battery for me and that is restart your phone frequently. I don't mean to say that you restart your phone in a day twice but in a week I think that is just fine because there are some apps which gets updated, there are some cache memory, some files, temporary files lying around your storage of your phone which might be consuming that battery and when you restart your phone those temporary files cache memory gets reset and you will have a better Android experience and a good battery life as well. Another thing which you should do is keep your phone software as an OS and apps updated because sometimes some app might have a glitch which could be draining your battery and you couldn't know about it and the only way to solve is either delete that app or update it and that is the reason I am telling you guys to make sure your phone and apps installed in it are you can also disable background data usage or turn on data saver mode on your phone which will help you to stop unnecessary apps to utilize your cellular data or Wi-Fi data. So this will result in better battery life of your Android phone and you won't get those annoying notifications as well. So to turn on data saver mode, you can easily go into the quick settings panel. All these settings are already there but if you don't find them, you can just go into the settings app, tap on internet as settings, select data saver and toggle it on. And you can also select those apps which you want to have full access of your cellular data by going into unrestricted data list. Google Assistant can be very helpful while your battery is low because it can automatically enable battery saver mode on your phone. How you ask me? It is very easy. All you have to do is just make a routine and ask Google Assistant to run it whenever your phone's battery is below a certain point. And lastly, but definitely not the least that you should shouldn't download any battery saver app on your Android phone because it will do more harm than good to your phone's battery as it will run automatically in the background, it will close some unnecessary or in fact necessary apps or intervene in processes which are necessary for Android to run smoothly and will hamper your phone's battery life. So these were some methods which I think will help you to improve your phone's battery life but there are few more things you should keep in mind. Firstly, do not charge your phone from 0 to 100 as it will increase the battery cycle count on your phone affecting your battery health. Secondly, avoid charging your phone overnight. Yes, I have just told you that you can just on adaptive battery and everything will be solved but I would recommend that you should avoid such kind of scenarios altogether. Another thing which you should keep in mind is use only original charging accessories for your phone or any certified accessories for your phone. Do not just plug it in with some random cable or adapter plug into it because it will of course will sure affect your phone's battery. So that's all guys. I know it's been a long video but I think I have covered enough and almost everything which might affect your phone's battery life. If you liked it then make sure you like the video. Do let me know in the comment section if you are facing any issue regarding battery or if you want to just chit chat. I am there for you guys. You can also subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any such amazing content like this please just go do it i have already told you guys this is the second time in a single video just do it please and on this note this is me sameer signing off and i'm going to see you in the next one till then tada yeah